resident activist Mario Blanche will again demand answers from the North Bergen Board of Education on the sick time scandal and other issues. Jillian Risberg, Hudson County TV. One such issue was the resignation of Miguel Hector and Charlotte DiGennaro. Luis Ribello and Patricia Bartoli were appointed to fill the positions until the next election when a successor is elected. Mayor Nicholas Sacco also addressed the recent accident of two high school students who were hit by a taxi. Police took over the scene immediately, blocked the boulevard. Uh, we had two ambulances, actually three ambulances, the rest of the also and the one was taken to uh, Palisades Medical. I believe they were getting ready to release her. They were taking a cap scan just to be sure. Uh, the other one was taken to Jersey City Medical. I heard that they were planning to release her tonight also. Uh, I'm simply waiting for further calls, and I'll go out and start making them again to check to see if that's the case. Um, the police are doing a thorough investigation. There is a video camera in there. Resident activist Mario Blanche was on hand trying to shed light on the sick time buyout. I was really hoping that the Board of Education was going to give us some answers as to how these exorbitant contracts are being passed and there's really no review process. And the board refused to answer any of my questions, so it's obvious that there appears to be no review process as to how an assistant superintendent earns nearly as much as the chancellor of New York City earns. And it wasn't just Nick Lissaco that was earning that kind of money, it was assistant superintendent Askelis who was earning that kind of money. So I really wanted answers as to how these contracts are being passed, how the mayor's entire family is employed by the Board of Education. I think the community needs to know how their tax dollars are being spent. It's not being spent on our children. It's being spent on salaries. It's being spent on nepotism. It's being spent on favoritism. It's being spent on recruiting football players. It's not being spent on education. If we're able to raise awareness in the community, hopefully the community will start coming to these meetings and they'll make this board responsible for what they should be responsible for, which is the education of the children.